this is Danny, you and me living free, and I want to talk today about um, this journey to hike the Grand Canyon Rim to Rim, starting with baby steps. So I've set a goal for myself to do 30 minutes a day, five days a week of uh, just walking with a quick stretch at the end. And I'm going to document this journey. I'm going to take you along because here's the thing. Even if you're not on a health journey, let's say you're on some other journey, but you have a big goal and you're breaking it down and doing the things that need to be done every day, um, huh, you're going to face the same mental things because most of our obstacles, now don't get me wrong, some of our obstacles are physical. Some of our obstacles are environmental. There are all kinds of obstacles known to man, but one of the biggest obstacles we will probably have to overcome is in our mind. And so I'm going to share kind of step by step as I go through this journey and what goes through the mind when you tr when your goal is so big that you have to be better tomorrow than you are today in order to accomplish it. How do you get there without getting so discouraged that you're just going to give up? Well, I don't know, but we'll figure it out together. I have a plan for what I think. And then we'll see how it works. We'll put it to the test every day. And I guarantee you some of the thoughts I'm going to be having are some of the thoughts that you're going to be having. And this is a hike that, or this is a walk that I just did. I'm going to share with you. I didn't want to do it. So what do you do when your motivation is not there? Because motivation will come and go. We know that for sure. So what's the backup plan? What are you going to do when the motivation isn't there? Because you know, you start a project, you're all gung ho and you're all this motivation and you can rely on that to get started. But when that is done or you're having a rough day or you bail one day and then are trying to get back on track, what do you actually do? And so that's what I'm going to bring along on this journey and we can figure it out together and have these solutions for what comes up in our mind because that is one of our biggest, it, our mind can be the biggest obstacle, but it can also be the biggest tool for, for helping us to overcome and to do more. But we have to learn how to train our mind. We have to learn how to train our mind. And if our mind is working against us all the time, then it's harder and harder and harder. It's like walking through a tar pit or something ugh, to kind of get where you want to go instead of using the mind, they, they say that old quote, right? The mind is a terrible um, master and a wonderful servant, right? So your mind is in charge and you're probably going to do what you've always done and get what you've always got because the mind likes stability. The mind likes tomorrow the same as yesterday because that's less fearful. The, that's what the mind wants. It wants to go on autopilot as much as possible. And when we're pushing things and we're forcing the mind out of that comfort zone, we're really going to have to do some training because the mind's going to want to rebel. So that's what sharing this journey is all about. Please join along if it's something you're interested in. Even if it's not the physicality of it, maybe your dream is something else. A lot of what we're going to be doing is mental and that works for all of us. But the thing is, you have to have kind of a dream or something you're striving for. Because if, you, if you're in that, in that mode in life where you're going along and, you, and you're in a holding pattern, which is fine. Not everybody wants to, you know, struggle and grow and achieve and everything all the time. That can be exhausting. Maybe you're at a different point where you really are wanting to, you know, just maintain and enjoy and you're content. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. But if you're up for something new and you've got this big, big dream or goal, then um, you might want to stick around. You might want to follow and subscribe, whatever. Share it with a friend. Um, let this be your cue to kind of take your steps towards your next big thing. What is your next big thing? What's the dream that kind of nags at your mind that, that comes up every once in a while and then you kind of push it away and then it comes back and then you push it away. You say, maybe later, maybe, the, maybe this is the time. Maybe this is the time you start to brainstorm about it or think about it or lay it, start to maybe put together a plan for how, if you're going to do it, how you are going to go about it or whatever. So, uh, so anyway, this is just sharing the journey. Hope you like the video. I love you. I'm getting ready for a walk this morning and I don't want to do it. <laughs> the park I normally go to is closed. I don't know what they're doing, but they're kind of ripping up some of the dirt and but they close this park that I usually go to. So I'm at a different park, which is fine. Sometimes I choose to go to different parks, but when the one you want to go to is closed, it's kind of like, 
that yesterday, that was enough to like derail me. Okay. That was like, it, it's amazing how quickly you can get off course, but I've just decided it's like for certain things, it doesn't matter if I feel like doing it or not. So I'm sitting here at the park and I don't want to walk, but I'm going to do it anyway, uh, just for 30 minutes. And I'm going to go as as slow as I feel like going. I'm not going to put any restrictions on myself as far as trying to be speedy or anything like that. Right now, as I'm establishing the habit, the most important thing is that I do it. I don't care if it's ugly. I don't care if it's slow. I don't care any of that. I'm not putting any of that pressure. That will come later when I start to build speed and build all that stuff. For right now, it's just the doing it. It's the it's the routine of getting up and getting to the park and starting to walk. That is the step that I'm doing. And I'm going to give myself a whole month to just work on that. And so that's what I'm doing. So I'm here at the park. And if you want to come along, I'll show a couple of little pictures as I'm starting to go. It's actually beautiful in Kansas City right now. It's kind of cloudy this morning, but it, it's not supposed to really rain. And um, at least I hope not. And um, some of the leaves are starting to change and stuff, so it'll be nice. Let's go for go for a little walk here in KC, and um, and this is it, baby steps, right? So whatever your dream is, you know, one little step at a time, one little step at a time. Don't give up, and we'll get there. And so we can encourage each other along the way. I love building community with my channel. I love getting to know the people who are watching. If you, you know, comment and, and everything, then I can kind of see who you are and make the connection that way. I really, really enjoy that. And I hope that this video, um, I don't know, inspires you in some way, encourages you on whatever journey and path you're on. And, um, and I want to do a special thanks to my patrons. Uh, I love you guys. And, uh, and I think that's it. I'm sending you a ton of love and I'll catch you next time. And uh, yeah, catch you next time. Let's do this. Let's go walk. So one strategy that helps me sometimes um, for being excited to walk is I will get a, um, a really good audiobook. Right now I'm reading slash listening to iRobot, which is a classic sci-fi, right? Um, so I've got iRobot on Audible right now, or actually, no, I rented it from the uh, library. It was a library rental. But anyway, uh, I will get a really, really good, really good on tape. And then the only time I allow myself to listen to it is when I'm walking. So it's like, ooh, let's go walk so I can listen to what happens in the story, right? Um, sometimes that works for me. Other times I just wanna sit, I wanna walk and think, and other times, you know, other times I don't have an exciting book that I'm, that I'm really into that that works for. But the main thing, honestly, is, is just knowing you're not gonna be inspired all the time. In fact, most of the time, I'm probably not going to be inspired or even motivated to do it. And that's where kind of discipline comes in. And I don't have much discipline, so I need to, well, I need to. That's what I'm working on right now. It's just discipline. No, you're not inspired to do it in this moment. You're not even motivated to do it in this moment. But you're going to do it anyway. Because you are inspired and motivated by the big goal, which is... Grand Canyon, right? So, with that in mind, we walk. So today, we walk. I didn't want to do it. I did it anyway. And now I am proud of myself. And I pat myself on the back. And I appreciate my achievement. And cheer myself on for every single little baby step along the way and hope this cheers you on too.